Hip-hop mogul P. Diddy's two million pound mansion fell into decay after the rapper left 17 years ago. The once beautiful eight-bedroom house in Atlanta gradually fell apart and is now covered in dirt and graffiti. Diddy, 54, known as Casa Nir El, first owned the property in 2003, paying $2.6 million for it, adding to his already expensive home collection across America. Welcome to Star Updates. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from your favorite celebrities. Located in Dunwoody, just outside of Atlanta, this seven-acre hotel boasts 16 Italian Baroque-style baths spread over multiple floors. According to an old online listing for the home, the home's walls also include a library, game room, home theater, wine cellar, and five impressive fireplaces. The house also has its own elevator, too big. Sections of flooring throughout the house were destroyed and many staircases were missing beams. Elsewhere, photos show doors hanging off their hinges. One of the living rooms is full of chandeliers, but the surroundings are full of misery. Graffiti destroyed the mirrors on the walls and tattered floorboards littered the ground next to boarded up windows. The shabby kitchen looked unfinished with boxes scattered on the floor and foam insulation hanging from the ceiling. There was trash on the floor and unpainted stains on the walls ruining the interior of the room. In the middle of it all is a marble kitchen island, where dust from the stove, cables, and empty bottles accumulates. Outside is a 20,000 square meter mega house. Feet looks as luxurious as ever, with huge white walls and rows of tall, healthy trees growing on the beautiful grounds. But the majestic gates remained closed for many years, and since then almost no one has entered the territory. As a result, the once beautiful 60,000-gallon saltwater pool and the water in the adjacent hot tub turned a cloudy blue with broken tiles floating nearby. The property's massive tennis courts and five-car garage remain unused and nearly in ruins. Diddy left the mansion in the midst of the late 21st century housing crisis spreading across America. He wanted to renovate the house and renovate it, but he never found the money needed to finance it, the New York Post reported. In 2007, the Bad Boy Records founders sold the house for just $1.3 million, losing out on the hefty amount he originally paid. But the real estate investment trust that bought the house never found a new owner and left it empty, just like Diddy. In recent months, the American music mogul has been the target of several lawsuits, including sexual assault. On Monday afternoon, police raided two of Diddy's homes. The Associated Press reported that his homes in Miami and California were extensively searched as part of a federal investigation into sex trafficking allegations against the rapper. The Department of Homeland Security doesn't know exactly what they're looking for, but video of the raid in California shows the tables have turned completely. Closets were opened and papers, clothes, and other items were scattered throughout the house. Doors were ripped from their frames and secret safes were skillfully broken into. Diddy's attorney, Aaron Dyer, in the band's initial statement called the raids an excessive use of military force since federal agents stormed the facilities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any members of his family have been arrested and their mobility has not been impaired in any way, Dyer said. This unprecedented ambush combined with a sophisticated and coordinated media presence resulted in Mr. Combs' premature conviction and amounted to little more than a witch hunt based on baseless accusations are brought up in civil lawsuits. No criminal or civil liability has been established for any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight every day to clear his name. In late 2023 and early 2024, P. Diddy faced a wave of lawsuits with shocking allegations of human trafficking and sexual exploitation. Diddy's longtime girlfriend, Cassie, sued him in November 2023, alleging that the cycle of harassment, violence, and sex trafficking continued until their relationship ended in 2018. Diddy and Cassie settled the lawsuit the day after it was filed. Diddy was also convicted a week later and received two more lawsuits. Joy Dickerson accused Diddy of drugging her, raping her, and filming the attack when she was a 19-year-old student in January 1991. 
the star spokesman called them just a blackmail and nothing more. The second accuser in the trial later alleged in a separate lawsuit that Diddy and another man sexually assaulted her and her friends in 1990 or 1991, then showed up at her apartment and beat her a few days later. In December, Diddy was sued again by a woman who alleged that he and two men gang raped her in 2003 when she was 17 years old. 